Many times here on WFL 40 News, we'll use the phrase, the SWAT team was called in. When you hear that, you know it's serious. It's crunch time. Lives are on the line. And as we tagged along during SWAT team training, I found myself with a newfound respect for these brave, dedicated, and disciplined people who devote their lives to saving lives. More now in our special assignment, tactical training. A deadly shooting on the UA Huntsville campus. Uh, we can tell you again, the SWAT team was called in. A man barricades himself in a home in Decatur, waving a gun. The SWAT team is there. A tense standoff at a Huntsville apartment complex. Again, time for these highly trained professionals to defuse danger. You really can't afford mistakes when, when you're on a SWAT operation. A bad day on the job for these guys could be deadly. We train, we train, and then we train some more. And good is not good enough. Move in! That's why John Stringer and the members of the Madison SWAT team are so meticulous here on the shooting range. Every shot, every move choreographed and communicated. The ultimate team. They have eight members, many try, few can clear the physical, mental, and emotional hurdles to make it. There is a certain satisfaction of being part of something that you know that not just anybody can be a part of. As we watch, they sweat, they gasp. After trying on their body armor and attempting to run, I'm gasping too. How y'all knew that? That 50 pounds feels like 150. The weight on their shoulders, much like the pressure they shoulder. So they concentrate and push on. Lives depend on it. Your corner is clear. A few miles away, the Huntsville SWAT team is playing a high stress game of hide and seek. They're sharpening their skills to enter and clear a building. They'll do this for hours. The key is trust. Trust. You have to trust that the guy to your left and to your right is going to be covering your back. They even showed me what it's like to be the hunted. I'm just glad they're on my side. Listen and watch as they move in unison, tracking down two more pretend bad guys. Turn your left one step. Turn to your left. The precision, the professionalism is just amazing. You can't do this job halfway. These guys are special. You got to be willing to put that equipment on and go into a building knowing that there's somebody in there. If they have to use deadly force, they will, and they can. One down, one down. If we have to take it, God forbid, that that first shot is going exactly where it needs to go. But for all of these guys, the ultimate goal isn't to take life, it's to preserve it. It's to end the situation, nobody harmed, Turn and the around. offender's in custody. I got Dale! Cover. I got cover. I got cover. So that everybody goes home at the end of the day to train and wait for that next call when lives are on the line. Amazing. Now, by the way, SWAT stands for Special Weapons and Tactics, and SWAT team leaders in Huntsville say they're always looking for places to train. If you have a building vacant or occupied, they'd love to use it. They won't do any damage. Just send me an email, and I'll pass it along to them.